right, coming up, how local schools are trying to tackle the decline of cursive writing. They don't write anymore. All right, some schools no longer require students to learn cursive writing. What? How can that possibly be? Dr. Linda Williams, she is here. She's a uh, teacher at the Detroit Waldorf School, and she's going to explain why. I think I know why, because they have keyboards these days. Is that the deal? That's wrong. That is the reason why people no longer are teaching cursive. But, Charlie, you're yes. right. It is so important for children to connect their thoughts to movement. Cursive is a dance on paper, and you learn more. You actually become smarter. Okay, well, so I must be a genius here because <laughs> I've got all my notes here. I don't, you know what? Here's my secret. I don't, I don't type. I don't know how to type. Now I learn because you have to pick. But right. I like writing. Yes. But people don't these days. I, you can barely find a pen in this newsroom. The young, they don't have any pens. Why is that? Because, again, it's keyboarding taking over. And I'm not saying you shouldn't learn how to keyboard eventually. But when you're learning how to read and write, when you write, you're lighting up the same parts of your brain that you use for reading. And when you type, it's a whole different, it's a motor activity that does not connect the word itself to um, the thought. I didn't realize it was writing was so deep. It <laughs> is <laughs> deep. It isn't really it? is, though. So if you write, you're linking writing to what, what, like more being more creative, maybe? Yes, you can be more creative because it's you. It's actually you. You're only mediating your thought with a pen and a paper. You're not using a machine. So you're able to bring your thoughts onto the paper. And children learn to do this. They write more when you're writing in cursive and it flows. Most schools in Michigan do not teach cursive writing. I was shocked right. to find that out, but that's the truth. Our common core state standards do yeah. not require it. But here at the Waldorf School, now celebrating wow. 50 years in the yeah. city of Detroit, wow. and the International Waldorf School celebrating 100 years coming up in a couple of years, we believe this is one of the things from our past that we should hold on to because children actually become smarter, more creative, and it has therapeutic aspects, Charlie. Really? Children with dyslexic tendencies will make fewer reversals if they're using cursive. Remember your B and your D and those I, things? I remember all those, and I'll tell you what, people, they tweet, they text, and that's not cursive. It's, it's like not. almost a dying, it really is a dying art. It is a dying what art. What would you say to those legislators that are watching this show right now, don't you think you ought to put it back into the core curriculum? If you want a more informed, smarter public, then you should make sure that those children, especially at the ages of 7, 8, 9, 10 years old, are learning cursive handwriting. What grade do you teach cursive? I teach third grade. And and that's when I began it with my students, and our third and fourth graders are perfecting their cursive do they, hands. Do they teach printing? Uh, we do. We everyone? teach printing yeah. first and second, yeah. and then cursive in third and fourth. But in other schools, they other teach school, keyboard. Other right. They teach been. keyboard there, too, right? We eventually do. Yeah, but yes. that's, you want writing. Right. I didn't realize we actually we think keyboarding can wait till high school. Oh, well, <laughs> but I know unless they get a cell phone or right. something, or an iPad or something like that, it's not happening. Dr. Linda Williams, all right, this is an interesting topic. Should we teach cursive in schools? You say yes. I say yes. It's good for the mind. It's good for the mind. Very creative. All right, thank you, Dr. I appreciate that. Thank you, that. Charlie. See how much you learn watching this show. All right, coming up later.